So finally one of the packages that I'm waiting from AliExpress arrived and judging by the size of the package I assume this is going to be Huanan G Mini ITX B660 motherboard. But I might be wrong, so let's open it and see what I have got inside. Yes, indeed, this is Huanan G B660M Mini ITX motherboard. And as you have seen, the package was packed really, really well, so no complaints here. Inside the box we don't have anything interesting, the IO shield as usual, but this time the IO shield is painted white and we have this 100 title, as well as titles for everything what stick out. Then we have one SATA cable and the motherboard itself. Under the motherboard we only have this warranty card and this warranty card as far as I know is only applicable in China, even though they claim international warranty. So, here comes the motherboard itself, and here I need to say that this motherboard is not provided by Juan Andre. I bought it with my personal money, because for some reason they would just ignore my request to provide me this motherboard for review. They would say that they need to wait for some sort of a manager to approve some something and it would just go on and on and on. So I just uh, gave up on it and decided to just buy the motherboard for my own money to make this review. As you can see the motherboard is white, but unfortunately it's not pure white. The memory slots, the power connectors and other stuff like this PCI Express clicker, they are black. So it looks pretty nice and I can remove this uh, back pad so you can see the motherboard in its glory. I can also say that the heat sinks are pretty nice and they feel pretty nice on touch. We see that they have used actually white uh, thermal pads instead of blue ones or black ones, so this is not too bad. But as I have said, it's not purely white, so if you're looking for a pure white build, this is not going to make it for you. Quick specification overview, and we have a standard mini ITX layout. So the chipset P660 is obviously here, PC Express X16 slot, I hope this is PC Express 4.0, M.2 slot, and I also think this is PC Express 4.0, then two memory slots, the front IO for USB and buttons LEDs, then we have here the CPU fan header, and here a chassis fan header. I hope a smartphone function is going to work for both of the headers. The power supply connector is over here and actually this time with this motherboard they have installed it the cork size uh, side so this little notch goes outside and not inside into the heatsink and it doesn't block uh, the click on mechanism of the power cords. The battery is installed over here, of course it's empty because in China they prohibit shipping batteries, but it's much better than the tin US solution where they connect the battery with wires and then just cut off the wires. Also the motherboard comes with this annoying speaker, I don't know why Chinese insist on having a speaker on the motherboard, but it is what it is. What's important is that motherboard comes with holes for installing coolers of LGA1200 as well as LGA1700. So if you have stockpile of old Intel box coolers, you can install it on this motherboard with some CPU like i3-12100. Let me check what we have on the I.O. side. And the I.O. side is rather rich, much to my surprise. So we have two HDMI outputs, one display port, one VGA, then we have four USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, Ethernet port, uh, Wi-Fi antenna access and a basic audio exit. Here it's important to mention that this Wi-Fi box comes without Wi-Fi adapter itself. It's just the box. The Wi-Fi adapter you have to install uh, yourself and as far as I know uh, only CNVI M.2 Wi-Fi adapters are supported. The PCI Express M.2 uh, Wi-Fi adapters will not work. On the back side of the motherboard we do not have any additional M.2 slots, which is expected with this price point, but still it would be a nice surprise if I would find here an additional M.2 slot for the second SSD. Uh, speaking of the second SSDs, I forgot to mention that here we also have four SATA 3.0 ports to connect to SSD drives or hard drives. 
That's basically all I can say about this motherboard without testing it. So if you're interested to see full uh, review of this motherboard, and I'm going to test it with the 12th gen and the 13th gen CPUs, then please subscribe to my main channel. The review will be published there.